Good day, I am Rambo Talabong and this is Rappler Talk. For the past few days, we heard the Philippine National Police releasing drug war policies on their projects like Upland Double Barrel and Upland Tokhang. Today, we will be talking to someone who is involved in the policy making of not just the Philippine National Police, but also other government agencies in producing a drug war that is holistic and actually targets drug, uh, the drug menace from top to bottom. We are talking to the Dangerous Drugs Board Chairman, Catalino Cui. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for joining us today. So, sir, um, uh, light question muna. How has it been so far sitting in as uh, the chairman of the Dangerous Drugs Board? Kasi nanggaling kayo, sir, di ba, sa DILG as its OIC? Uh, yeah, uh, yung pag-upo ko dito since uh, early this month, uh, as I said doon sa earlier, is a new challenge. But uh, this is nothing, uh, this is not uh, new to me kasi... Uh, noong nasa DILG ako as uh, the Undersecretary for Peace and Order, I was the one attending uh, on behalf of the Secretary of the SILG meetings of uh, committee meetings ng, uh, and board meetings ng Dangerous Drugs Board mm -hmm. as well as doon sa cluster meetings ng Interagency Committee mm -hmm. on Anti-Illegal Drugs or ICAD yes, uh, being chaired by PIDEA naman yun. And you were also a former policeman, di ba sir? Yeah, uh, being a former police officer, medyo meron tayong uh, uh, background or uh, uh, yung experience with regards sa uh, anti illegal drug uh, uh, campaign natin. Okay, sir. With that background, sir, na meron kayong karanasan sa PNP at saka sa DILG and sitting in the board meetings with the DDB before, what what are the policies that you want to introduce given that you're now the head of the DDB? Unang-una, yung isang uh, nakapending dyan na ano, eh, matagal na, yung ating Philippine Anti-Drug Abuse uh, Strategy or yung PADS na uh, mm -hmm. this will be the strategy of the government on the anti-illegal drug campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, yung, the, the board is being uh, is composed of uh, 17 uh, line agencies, mm -hmm. including most of the uh, line departments natin. Uh, mm -hmm. To mention a few, yung DILG nga, no? Yes. Na malaki ang role talaga sa campaign natin. The mm -hmm. Department of Health, mm -hmm. uh, the SWD, the, so, the Department talaga, of sir. Justice, the PNP and mm -hmm. and NBI kasama yung mga yan. Mm -hmm. So, marami yan. This is a uh, not, uh, this is a whole of government approach. But we would like na not only whole of government but a whole of nation approach. Mm -hmm. Kasi kailangan talaga yung all stakeholders should be involved. Yung community mm -hmm. natin, NGOs, non-government uh, organization, uh, dapat isama na rin yan. Okay, sir. So yung PAD, sir, it's like a blueprint for the war on drugs, not just for like the PNP, but for the whole country. Oh, oh. For the whole, ano yan, for the whole government yan. Uh, the PNP is only part, one of the members, uh, on speci specifically on the law enforcement uh, sector. So, ano ito, ang approach natin dito, halimbawa, ano magiging role mm -hmm. ng DOH? Ano magiging role ng ni Mayor o ni Barangay Kapitan? Mm -hmm. So, naka-line naka, naka up lahat dyan. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like na magkaroon ng, ano eh, ng synergy or magkaroon ng uh, parang mayroong isang nagko-conductor among the different agencies. And that's DDB? Yes, that's the DDB. Although we know right now, na since the start of the administration, kasi ang mga different uh, line agency members naman natin, they have their own uh, competencies and mandate yes. with regards sa uh, ata illegal drug campaign. But we would like it uh, be done in conjunction with other agencies para holistic ang approach natin. Okay, sir. Sir, um, I don't know if you also noticed this, but when you say the war on drugs, the fight against illegal drugs, the first thing that comes to mind is the Philippine National Police. So is that yeah. okay? Na parang, uh, the, the first idea is the law enforcement of it, fighting drugs. Yeah, actually, it's the PIDEA ang lead sa law mm -hmm. enforcement ng, against uh, anti-illegal mm -hmm. drugs. Uh, the PNP, the, the NBI, and in mm -hmm. other law enforcement agencies we is uh, uh, in support sa PDEA. Mm -hmm. So, ano ba sir, okay lang ba sir na parang law enforcement talaga yung priority for dealing with illegal drugs? Uh, that's ano eh, mm -hmm. actually doon sa ating uh, ipino, ginagawa na uh, strategy, yung sa PADS, there, there will be two major components, yung supply mm -hmm. reduction mm -hmm. and the demand reduction uh, mm -hmm. strategy. So, mm -hmm. yung sa law enforcement natin, more on sa supply reduction sila mm -hmm. eh. But, uh, 
may, dapat kasabay ang ano, demand reduction. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang sa in-market force, di ba? Yes. If there's no demand, uh, walang magsusupply. Uh, ngayon, pag may, ano, pag uh, ganong uh, nare-restrict o nare-reduce natin ang demands, uh, ma- mawawala ng, ano, eh, mawawala ng, uh, mababawasan ng client yung mm-hmm. mga nagsusupply na yan. Mm-hmm. We can uh, see that the uh supply reduction for the law enforcement has been really intense. In the words of the President, it's unrelenting, relentless, dere-derechulak. But for the demand reduction, sir, how would you evaluate yes, so y- far? Yan yung, ano, yan ang isang pagtutuon na natin. We've been doing that uh, already, but uh, we would like it to be more aggressive and holistic. Mm-hmm. And this is where, uh, yan, yung local government natin, yung ating line agencies like the DOH, the SWD, mm-hmm. uh, TESDA. Kasi, magiging uh, part ng ating demand reduction yung pag uh, pag de- de- yung alternative development mm-hmm. meaning anong alternative development or activity na ibibigay mo doon sa uh, drug individual mm-hmm. uh, yung mga nagtatanim ng marijuana for example anong pwede mong anong pwedeng uh, alternative livelihood nila kung sir sa supply reduction PNP and PDEA sa sa demand reduction naman sir uh, ano yung agency? Yun nga, marami yan. Marami uh, DOH, sa rehabilitation and reintegration. Uh, PCO, kasama yan. Can, we, can we pinpoint uh, an, an agency which has the muscle? Agency that has the most sa power demand oh, in the demand reduction? Tipong PNP, sorry, which has 190,000. Yan nga natin, maano, kasi pati, pati DEPED, Department of Education, uh-huh. CHED, uh, dole, kasama dyan lahat eh. DILG, yes. kasama rin lahat dyan. Uh, ma- makikita mo na halos lahat ng uh, agencies natin, like agencies natin, may participation. Mm-hmm. So, i- i- doon sa uh, ilalabas nating strategy, nakaline up kung ano yung kanila mga set particular tasking. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, ano sir yung uh, rundown nila? Kung what are they going to do, these agencies? Just are ang, rundown of oh, ang lahat ng agencies natin, they are mandated na tumulong sa mm-hmm. public awareness mm-hmm. at buo kasi. Kasi that's one way na ma- ma-reduce yung, yung demand. Eh. Pag, uh, yung awareness, yung information natin na ano ang danger ng illegal drugs sa katawan, sa health. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one way to, ano, to reduce the demand. What are the messages, sir, na gustong iparating ng demand reduction, sir? So that's one. Drugs are Drugs. dangerous. Dangerous, to your yes. What else? Uh, it will destroy y- uh, your family, yourself, your community. Yung mga ganong mm-hmm. ano, yung mga ganong uh, mes- messaging. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is that messaging enough, sir? Well, siempre may ano rin, uh, kasi ang usual na reason ng mga na involved sa drugs is uh, economics. Walang ano, yan. sa mga pusher, yan, lagi nila sinasabi kasi ito lang daw pagkakitaan. So, ito yung porso sa alternative development mm-hmm. para ma- mawala yung kanilang uh, reason na yan na uh, eh, kasi wala silang hanap buhay kaya they resort to selling drugs. So, that's one way. And this is where yung training ng uh, offered by TESDA, mm-hmm. yung, yung health ng local government units sa uh, community-based rehabilitation program, Yung DOH naman doon mm-hmm. sa uh, treatment center talaga. Yes. Uh, yung, uh, yung DOLE sa pag offer naman ng uh, uh, employment assistance doon mm-hmm. sa mga nakarecover na. Yes. So, ito yung whole holistic approach natin. Kasi hindi kaya ng isa, ng isa or several agencies lang. Dapat lahat. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you raised that up, sir. Kasi parang it shows that um, the drug problem really is a multifaceted problem. And with the alternative... Um, um, means of income and training, sir, that just uh, points to, does that, re- that, or I would like to ask you, does that point to the war on drugs also being linked to poverty? Kasi wala silang trabaho, that's, kaya yeah. sila pumupunta sa... That, that's what they say, uh, poverty. Pero that's not a good reason, in the, in the justification yun, yes, to, yes. to be involved in drugs just because you're, say, you're saying na poor ka or wala kang ibang uh, income. Mm-hmm. So, paano kaya yun, sir? How do you battle that reasoning? that um, people saying that ah, kasi mahirap kaya napapapunta diyan di, di umano uh, yun nga, we, we should uh, identify these uh, individuals and help them uh, capacitate themselves na uh, empower themselves mm-hmm. kung mga drug dependents yan they have to be rehabilitated and then reintegrated mm-hmm. into the, the the community again and this is where yung uh, yung uh, task ng uh, uh, halimbawa as I mentioned TESDA 
-hmm. Sila ang nagbibigay ng uh, livelihood tra yes, skills yes. training, yan, livelihood yes. training. Ng, uh, Department of Agriculture is also an important agency. Doon sa agriculture-based assistance, farming. Mm -hmm. Actually, doon sa community-based rehabilitation program, uh, which is being, uh, yung, mga, yung mga program na yan is being accredited by DOH, but mm -hmm. it is actually the local government units mm -hmm. which, will, ano, which will implement that. Mm -hmm. So kung ano yung ma-adapt nilang program, say agriculture-based or faith-based or <laughs> athletic-based yes, uh, community-based program, uh, it will ano, it will empower yung uh, kung mm -hmm. matapos ng noong participant ito, hopefully at the end of the at the end of the sessions nila they can be productive, they can be employed by the local government, okay. yung work for work for uh, food program mm -hmm. o kaya doon sa mga even sa mga private uh, companies uh -huh. through the endorsement through the assistance ng local government and, okay. and dole That's para and then, kasi it's, it's important na ano eh, na maging productive or useful itong individual mm -hmm. na to otherwise they can uh, go back to ano eh, to to drugs where does the responsibility to make them productive sir nasa government siya sir hindi siya nasa drug involved personality na you have to seek out the government or is it that Kas the government should reach out yan. to kasama them kasama yan kasi may mga individuals na hindi kaya hindi nila kaya yung kontrolin yung sarili nila mm -hmm. eh. so unang una the, the family should come in uh, so it's very important na even uh, for those who are confined in the rehabilitation centers mm -hmm. and also those who are undergoing community based uh, rehabilitation program, mm -hmm. the, the, the support system or the family and relatives of these individuals should be should come in. Mm -hmm. uh, according to DOH, uh, very important yung nakikita noong drug dependent na he's being supported ng kanyang uh, relatives and loved ones. Mm -hmm. So we can also say that the drug problem is related to family problems in the Philippines. Uh, Kasi yan, napapabayaan yung individual. Oh, that, that's one, oh, no, that, that's one, uh, uh, one of the reasons na merong mga na, in, na resorting to drugs, personal problem, family problem, nag-aaway, broken families, usually mga ganon. And uh, at, the same, at the same manner, yung family din ang one of the key reason for, I mean, uh, key, uh, key, key, key factor na mm -hmm. makarecover yung tao, maiwasan yung may involved sa drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, ang sabi nga nila, di ba, the family is the, 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 small, the, the smallest uh, form of uh, uh, society. society. Mm -hmm. So it starts from the family. Mm -hmm. Where does the government come in, sir, to make the family encouraged to um, keep the family clean of drugs? Y isa, isa sa mga, ano yan, isa sa mga uh, advocacy ng anti-drug abuse councils natin. Mm -hmm. At the at all levels ng local government meron tayong uh, yung adacs na tinatawag yes. anti drug abuse councils at the uh, provincial level mm -hmm. uh, reg, uh, municipal and city level and up to the barangay level mm -hmm. uh, they, they ano no ito yung mechanism ng local government in uh, so in support to the anti illegal drug campaign and it is also the responsibility of the local government units to allocate substantial amount of uh, resources in the anti-illegal drug uh, campaign. Kasama sa batas yan eh. And uh, isa yan sa tinitingnan natin, na isasama natin doon sa strategy natin, mm -hmm. that will be the task of the local government. And there will be, uh, actually, may, may, ano, may penal provision yan pag hindi, ano, pag hindi nila sinunod yan. Mm -hmm. And uh, yung yung ano yung yung kasama sa magiging function na ginagawa natin ng uh, DILG is to see to it na yung mga local government natin up to the barangay level yeah. is complying yes. to, to to that uh, requirement mm -hmm. unang una to organize and then to operationalize ang ADACS especially BADACS sa mga Kamusta ba sa implementation ng ADACS, sir? Na, ano yan? Kakaansi uh, lang, sir, when, DILG. Oh, in, nung uh, ongoing yan, kasi for a long time, medyo na, ano yan eh, na, naging stagnant. Nire-revive nire natin yan at the start of the administration. Can you provide us, sir, a picture of what it looks like now, the ADACS? Ma medyo, Ilang marami ng ano, yung... since uh, itong, itong for the past 18 months na 
itong ad- administration na to, medyo nagising sila. <laughs> Nagising. So lalo na nung hindi ba naging priority program naman ng ni President Duterte ang uh, anti-illegal drug campaign, one of the three campaign promises niya actually. So naging ano naging uh, concern na even the local government. Ano bang nangyari before sir? Pre-Duterte meron drug abuse councils up to the, 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 the barangay level with the officials. Uh, na, nakita natin na ano eh, parang hindi sa ano lang sa record lang na meron but hindi nag function talaga. Kung baga hindi naging priority ng uh, previous ano. Mm-hmm. Uh, may, maybe one of the concern nila but not as uh, not uh, not as uh, being prioritized right now. Not as aggressive. <laughs> yeah. So ngayon sir, parang nagising sila. And we, we, we require them. They are being uh, required to submit mo yung report. Hindi lang nag-organize kayo, hindi lang nag-submit ka ng members. May mm-hmm. list of members yan eh. We are requiring them to submit periodic ano, report, and it's being uh, it's being monitored mm-hmm. by our uh, <coughs> yung yung uh, DILG. Meron silang uh, people at the uh, municipal level, yung kanilang ano, municipal, NCT, local government mm-hmm. operation officers, to the provincial director and regional mm-hmm. director ng DILG. Okay, May sir. record tayo dyan. Okay, sir. From what I'm getting so far, sir, ang mangyayari is law enforcement agencies attack the supply. So, yung mga drug suspect, drug, um, illegal drug traffickers, pipigilan sila. Tapos the demand is the gov- other government agencies para sabihan na masama talaga ang droga. Tulong, so, tulong that's the two, part, two oh. parts of it. Um, is that all? Is that enough? Hindi. No, sasama doon do sa demand, supply and demand, dapat sabay yan eh. Uh, pagsasabay, sabay yung, yung campaign na yan. And maraming component yung uh-huh. ano, sa demand. Andiyan na yung yung uh, public awareness, yes. alternative development, tapos yung uh, rehabilitation and mm. reintegration. Uh-huh. Hindi mo lang i-rehabilitate yung, yung individual. Mm-hmm. I-reintegrate mo rin okay, na, so. doon sa community niya. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, uh, we also we're also doing the international and regional mm-hmm. cooperation with other countries okay, so both in the law enforcement and the demand reduction component okay. so after the demand reduction what i what i get from that sir is pagkatapos ng demand and supply de- reduction is the rehabilitation of the person who is involved actually on, do, do in in the in the demand reduction kasama rin demand reduction eh. so oh. para hindi siya bumalik oh para hindi babalik yung tao doon sa mm-hmm. kanyang practice how has it been, sir, yung rehab naman? Ang daming surrenderies, sir. Over a million yeah, people. A- a- admittedly, noong una, medyo na, nagulat tayo sa dami. No? Yes. The, our rehabilitation facility, even our jail facilities yeah. were, uh, it's over, were uh, overrun. Yeah. <laughs> were over, overwhelmed yes. by, the, by the numbers. So, we are, we are catching up. We are still catching up right now. Lalong-lalo na doon sa nag-surrender. I- ini-evaluate sila eh kung talagang kailangan silang ilagay sa rehabilitation center or mm-hmm. uh, pwede sila sa community base and uh, so far yung sa according to DOH mas malaking percentage ng how many yung, almost 1 million 300 mm-hmm. na nag-surrender ano mm-hmm. a big majority of this number will only require yung community based rehabilitation so the millions are na nag-surrender over the past 18 months um, uh, are they all being treated? Hindi pa lahat ngayon. Uh, kasi yun nga, medyo nag- we are catching up. Uh, even the local government uh, units are, uh, in, are catching up. Can we get a number, sir? Out of the over a million, ilan, sir, yung actually na nagka- nagpapabalik-balik merong, sa rehabilitation? Merong, ano, meron tayong figures. Uh, I don't have it right now. But uh, last, last time uh, when we took it up, almost... Uh, 400,000 has so far undergone the community-based rehabilitation uh, program. Mm-hmm. Tuloy-tuloy yan kasi ma- 1 million, almost a million na yan eh. Okay, so it's about a half? Uh, right now, mga le- a little less than a half. Yeah. A little less oh. than half. Mas konti so. yung napunta sa rehabilitation center talaga. Okay, paano kaya sir ma-address yung other, the other bigger half? Uh, hindi, on- ongoing yan. Lang. Kasi may, may record naman tayo yung mga nag-surrender na yan. So, yung mga tao na yan, mm-hmm. ini-examine niya ng mga doctors mm-hmm. at the local level. Ano? And then, nakikita nila kung ano lang ito, uh, community-based lang ito, mga mm-hmm. occasional users. So, the usual criticism about the war on drugs is, um, you explain sir, demand and supply. Um, a lot of the criticism is against that it's too much on the law enforcement. That it's not holistic enough. 
What do you say to that? Hindi, uh, hindi. Ano, ano yun? Uh, kasi yan lang, yan lang yung, ano, yan yung matunog sa balita. Eh. But uh, may, on, may, may, may ongoing ano, effort din sa demand reduction. At the same time, there's also what we call yung barangay clearing. Hindi mm -hmm. lang, we're not only after the number of individuals uh, mm -hmm. arrested or uh, nag-surrender. Yes. Also in the barangay clearing. And NPDEA ang isang, isang, isang naglilid mm -hmm. dito. So far, doon sa records ng PDEA for itong 2017, about 5,000 barangays were declared cleared. Cleared, yes. And uh, uh, PDEA is uh, targeting uh, to clear uh, same number for, the, for, for this year. Mm -hmm. We are also looking at the, you know, kasi bar barangays are being categorized, yung affectation niya is uh, being categorized uh, into three. Uh, mm -hmm. Slightly affected, mm -hmm. moderately, and severely. Yes. So, meron tayong number ng uh, severely affected. So, tin tin tinitingnan din natin, o oh, itong severely nag-improve, naging moderately na lang, or naging uh, slightly. Pero, na so, yung drug affectation, kasi di ba, sir, na-pull na out yung PNP sa war on drugs for about a month last year, later 2017. And doon na-pull out daw sila, nagkaroon ng resurgence. So, is the campaign dependent on the PNP's involvement? Kung kailan na-pull out sila, tsaka tataas ulit. Tapos kung binalik, tsaka bababa. Hindi, kasi ad ad admittedly, kukunti ang PDA eh. Sa 1,500 lang sila eh. <laughs> for, for 2018, by the end of 2018, hopefully, yes, maka yes. madagdagan ng another 1,000 yan. So, mm -hmm. kulang pa rin. And they are not everywhere. Un unlike the PNP na lahat ng municipality may police dyan eh. So, mm -hmm. ma malaking tulong yung involvement ng PNP sa campaign. Mm -hmm. So, it might be true na may, uh, may upsurge during that particular period. Yes, yes. Kasi nagkaroon ng, nagkaroon ng uh, absence ng law enforcement in some areas. Mm -hmm. And this is being taken advantage of by, 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 the, by, the, by the syndicates. And the barangay or local officials cannot prevent that resurgence kung nawala yung and PNP. The, uh, sa... Hindi, kasi malaking, malaking, malaking bagay yung may polis na kasama. <laughs> Okay. So talagang the PNP remains to have a central and yes, a big they, they, role they in the Yes, they have to be, you know, they have to be participants sa campaign. They have to be involved sa law enforcement. Okay, sir. So talagang central sila. Okay, sir. Sir, your predecessor, si DDB Chief um, General Santiago, was embroiled in controversy before he left. Um, particularly, um, it wasn't really proven that it was because of his remarks, um, quite negative remarks, on the mega drug rehab centers. How about you yourself, sir? What's your stand on the mega drug rehab centers? It's a no. It's a useful ano, uh, facility. Ma, ma, ano yan. It mm. would be very helpful also. So okay, sir. Okay. With uh, with that precedent of General Santiago being released after um, giving out a critical statement. Um, uh, does that worry you as the DDB chief yourself of your independence from the administration? Hindi, tut tutok lang tayo sa trabaho eh. May, ano naman tayo, may marching order naman si Presidente and mm -hmm. nar naririnig naman natin even sa mga public pronouncement niya. So, we, we know the direction of the, uh, what, the direction that we, we, have to, ano, we have to proceed. How about your independence, sir, as, as also the chief of the DDB? Will you just follow the president, or are you also going to be? Um, are you? Will you also be um, releasing critical no, uh, pronouncement uh, if, if you see? In the first place, the the DDB is under the office of the president, oh, yes. so we, we get uh, the uh, we get our mandate and our guidance from the uh, our uh, chief executive. So, so the, so the DDB chairman has always have to follow the president. Sempre may ano kaya may may, gui may guidance kaya you know the mm -hmm. you know the priority of the the president the administration so yun mm -hmm. din yung ano yun din yung direction nyo. Okay sir. How about sir the criticism? I'm just throwing criticism at you kasi kayo sir yung mga ano ng ano eh mm -hmm. policy of it. Um, the, the, we will we will ano we, we will examine the procedure na yes. we we will see to it na it will uh, be helpful to achieve the objective which okay. is what. Uh, our target, eh, sabi ko nga, eh, let's not wait for, usually, like 2030 ang target, eh, long, oh. very long term yan. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, ang target natin is the drug-free and uh, drug-resistant uh, Philippines by 2022. 
Uh, ano na yan? That's four years. Kaya siguro yan. Diyan sa goal na yan, sir, you oh. think it's possible to achieve the well, uh, like you 2022? Well, that's the ideal target. So, we, we do our best na ma-achieve mo yan. Sabi, sir, ni Pideya Chief. <laughs> Sabi, sir, ni Pideya Chief Aquino, when we talked to him before, um, wala nun yung PNP eh. Sabi niya, it's practically impossible kung wala yung PNP. Oh, hindi. Kaya nga. Eh, kasal, Ngayon, sir, kasali naman, your ha? Your current evaluation, kaya is yun, it doable? No? Kaya yun. Tapos, eh, with, with the help of the other agencies, pagsama-sama yan, yeah. it, there will be a very significant, uh, in four years' time, kung by 2022, there will be a very significant uh, improvement. But you can't promise a drug-free and drug-resistant. Eh, yun nga ang target, eh. Wala namang masama kung mag-target ka ng ideal, di ba? Possible ba, sir? Yeah, it's possible. Kaya? It's possible. What would make that um, goal um, uh, realized and what would prevent the government from reaching that goal? Well, ito, from a broad realized, perspective. Uh, yeah, yeah whole, whole of nation approach too. Yes. So, hindi lang, ano, hindi lang yung uh, government people ang, uh, hindi lang kami, hindi lang yung uh, iba't ibang department ang kikilos dyan. Pati yung tao. Pati na yung, uh, actually, we are, ano, eh, kulang pa kami ng isang member sa board yung representative from an NGO. Mm. So, we are, we are selecting kung anong NGO yung pwede nating uh, i-recommend for appointment mm -hmm. as a member ng ano, ex-official member sa, sa board. Sir, na bangit yung hindi we would like We would like to harness everyone. Okay, sir. Uh, this is a, this is a, a war. <laughs> oh. And in the war, everybody's involved. Yes, everybody's involved. Ay, everybody, may, may stake tayo lahat dito eh. Okay, sir. Even the media. Yes, sir. Kasali kayo dito. Um, private sector, sir. Oo, oh, kasama yan. Tapos, Paano, sir? Eh, 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 uh, the, the NGO, How do you make that into policy? Harnessing the power of the private sector? Through, ano, we, we encourage them sa ADAX. Actually, na, kasama na sa ano yan. Kasama na sa setup natin. Through ADAX yan. At the grassroots level. So Anti-Drug anti Abuse Councils. In all uh, anti-drug abuse councils, sa provincial, municipal, and uh, barangay level, Pasok ang ano dyan, uh, representatives from the private sectors. Okay, sir. So, it would be possible to reach that goal by 2022 if everybody is involved. That's what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very important, siyempre. Okay. Hindi, hindi pwede yung uh, ano ka lang, uh, pen-seater ka lang na ano, dapat mm -hmm. kasali ka talaga. What would prevent us from reaching that goal? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, complacency ng ibang tao. That, that, that's, one, ano, that's one factor. What do you mean by complacency, <laughs> sir? Yung ano, yung uh, laging uh, yung sa tingin nila, yung yung, uh, yung pessimistic mm -hmm. <laughs> na para hindi kaya, hindi kaya, parang mm -hmm. ganun. So, we, we need everyone's ano, uh, support and enthusiasm. How about criticism, sir? Uh, as long na ano yan, constructive yan. Kung mag-criticize man, at, at least meron kang option, uh, may suggestion ka. May hirap yung ano eh, yung criticize ng criticize. Wala namang ano, mm -hmm. wala namang uh, suggestion or wala namang uh, constructive criticism. We, 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 you know, we welcome constructive criticism okay, to sir. improve our uh, services. Okay. So right now, the drug war policy of the PNP, as you already know, is being questioned in the Supreme Court. And one of the justices, Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio, said during one of the hearings, um, why is the PNP practically ignoring big-time drug dealers, drug lords? Um, how would you reply to yeah, actually, that? Actually, ano, yeah. Actually, yung, yung, yung uh, high-value targets, eh, that's the uh, PDEA, ano yan. PDEA, mm -hmm. part ng PDEA. Yung sa, sa PNP, yung mga, ano, sabi nga nila, what you call that, street pushing. Mga. But sir, um, what, what Carpio was, uh, Saj Carpio was, um, actually putting down is the big time drug lords. Yung talagang smuggling from China entering the Philippines. Do we have ano a yan, policy may, to may choke ano that? May, may effort yan. Kaya lang, mm. siyempre, hindi ganun kadali yan eh. Uh, siyempre, kaya nga big time yan eh. Well protected yan ng may mga cut out yan. Eh. And yun nga, as we mentioned, they can, they, nasa China yung iba dyan. <laughs> yes, but merong effort tayo dyan. Apart yan dun sa ano eh, international and regional cooperation. Yes, sir. Uh, we, China, we're, we're talking to Chinese counterparts. Kasama dun, sir, yung DDB? Oh, yung ano dun, uh, sa uh, yung pol uh, law enforcement nila. What are policies that we can propose or policies that we already have that choke 
the supply networks with other countries. Kasi ano, sabi sir, ano, the Philippines is a a transit point for illegal drugs. Ano yung Marami. policy natin to combat um, that? May mga policies na tayo, but uh, yung implementation may sandoon tayo nahihirapan. For example, uh, uh, we, 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 we talked to uh, si General La Peña, siya yung unang pinuntahan namin last week. Eh. Yeah. Kasi fortunately nga, being a former PDEA yeah, head, MDV. alam na alam niya ang problema. Eh. Mm -hmm. So nasa customs na siya. And uh, siya na rin ang nagsabi na it used to be sa, through our seaport and airport ang pasok ng mga uh, ingredients and even na uh, finished product na illegal drugs. Eh. Ngayon, kung makontrol mo yan, now here comes our problem with our very long coastline. Uh, talagang kailangan natin ng medyo malakas na coast guard dyan kasi yeah. ang, ang mahirap i-secure din talaga yan. Weeks ago, parang merong bumagsak na drug plastic Yun, sa oh, Samar. Sa Samar and sa mm -hmm. Bicol. Ano. So, ganun ka... Ganon ka ganon kahirap ang uh, ang, uh, ang ang task na yan mm -hmm. kaya we are also we will be ask uh, we are actually asking the different lalo na local government unit lalong lana doon sa mga coastal mm -hmm. municipalities mm -hmm. and yung mga police uh, units mm -hmm. sa lugar na to be ano to help us Mm -hmm. uh, to be watchful sa ganyang mga incident. Actually, sir, related nga dyan yung sagot ni Sol Gen, Solicitor General Kalida dun sa criticism ni Saj Carpio. Sabi niya, it's hard to police an archipelago. So, totoo yun, sir, kasi yeah, ang dami natin mahirap. coastline. Kung makikita mo sa... <laughs> Kung makita mo sa mga pa yan, hindi naman at present ang, ano natin, eh, ang law enforcement natin sa lahat ng lugar na yan. Eh. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, kung ikaw yung sindikato, pipili ka ng lugar na walang tao. Mm -hmm. Doon mo pa babaksakin yung uh, goodies mo. Uh -oh. Mahirap talaga. It's a really, sabi, usap nga namin yun ni John Lepin, it's really a, a challenge talaga. Paano kaya, we, sir? We have to, ano, we, have, we, have, we now have to go uh, high-tech. <laughs> what high-tech solutions have we thought of? Anyway, yung, 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 ano, yung, yung, uh, yung mga equipment ng uh, Coast Guard, for example, ng uh, mm -hmm. advanced countries, meron na silang... Uh, yung interception na uh, ano nila, mga uh, gadgets nila. Yung thermal imaging sa ano, mga patrol uh, uh, patrol and surveillance aircraft mm -mm. sa mga ano so the coast guard is the one that should be playing a central role sila sila ano ang main line of defense natin diyan kamusta ba ang, ang coast guard natin ngayon and, sir ano pa rin uh, they are modernizing modernizing and mm -hmm. uh, pero kulang pa yon kasi malawak eh mm -hmm. uh, may problema tayo sa most probably ang mga items na are coming from that from from the northern area no Luzon yes. area pero meron din tayong concern sa ano naman mm -hmm. southern uh, backdoors naman so talagang ano over stretch ang ating uh, mm -hmm. uh, coast guard and even the Philippine Navy so tulong 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 mm -hmm. na yan eh. there's they're uh, spread too thin <coughs> yes uh, ganun yun and kailangan what does the government need to do to make them um, um, more empowered to to battle these well, uh, supply chains. Well, ang 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 ano yan is uh, simply to uh, modernize and uh, equip these agencies with ano uh, yung yes. uh, uh, appropriate uh, tools. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, ano yan, uh, budget yan. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that's that's, a con that's the Congress. Um, that's the ball of the Congress. But, but it's high time. It's high time that we we ano. We improve the capability of these agencies. Okay, sir. Another um, big, big time um, supply chain for the drug war is smuggling. Yeah, Drugs are being smuggled not just in the shores and the ports, but also airport. The kaya, kaya nga yun nga yung ano yung nga yung concern ni uh -huh. ni custom commissioner na lapeny. Eh. Yes. Isa, isa talaga ano yun. Yun talaga tinututukan nila. Okay, sir. So for smuggling, port shores. It's BOC2. Pa, pa, ang, uh, ang report ng uh, PDEA, parang uh, wa halos wala na silang monitor ng mga laboratories dito. Eh. So, the items are now coming in as uh, talagang ano na, finished product, ready to use. So, most of the drug <coughs> supply now, ever since Duterte, President Duterte has um, uh, assumed this post, it came from drug labs to <coughs> processed um, finished products finished. coming from our shores, coming from our ports. L lately, from... Gan <laughs> lately, ganyan na. Uh, wala na silang uh, so far na, na monitor or na, na discover na mga laboratories. Kasi siguro mas, mas, ma, mas, ma, mas mahirap itago yung mga ganun eh. Yung mm -hmm. mga ganun facility. So now, now, now that the 
that the people or the community uh, are aware na mga ganun. May mga telltale signs of uh, existence of uh, these uh, facilities. So are we going to transition our uh, law enforcement uh, trust to that? From battling uh, drug laboratories or going to the streets to actually going to those ports, to going, going to those um, entry points, critical points of... Um, hindi, hindi naman yeah, kailangan yung malaking points. transition dyan eh. eh. Kasi miski naman ang araw, gina, ginagawa na rin yan. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of strengthening the yeah, trust strengthening here. Yeah, strengthening. And, uh, and uh, yun nga, yung public awareness will, uh, will help talaga. Okay, sir. So patuloy lang, sir, yung uh, street-level implementation law enforcement yes. demand reduction. Yes, yeah. Okay, sir. Um, do you have any recommendations to the PNP? Because we have to admit, and you already admitted, sir, that the PNP really has a big role in this um, fight against illegal drugs. Are you satisfied with their new guidelines? Yeah, okay. Na, yung ano yan, uh, that's the result of the yung mm -hmm. previous uh, study and experience in, in lalong na uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope na ano, uh, it will be strictly implemented. What do you the, mean, yung, ano, yung uh, following the uh, police operational procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, Kasi meron pa rin controversy, sir, ganun. Tsaka yung, ano, tsaka yung uh, uh, hindi naman, not everyone naman can, not all PNP personnel can be involved naman dyan sa, ano, eh, sa mm -hmm. campaign on illegal drugs. May specific uh, units and individuals lang. Mm -hmm. So they should be strict with that. Okay, so para hindi mahaluan ng ano ng uh, uh, you know yung may mga hindi uh, para hindi mahaluan yung ano yung yung mga unit on uh, mm -hmm. anti illegal drug. Okay sir, I just want to raise to you sir the most recent uh, drug war policies that has been released by the PNP. First is the body cameras aren't required, they're encouraged. The second is tokhang can't be done at night and on weekends. How can you evaluate those two? Yeah, that's ano. We support that ano, that move. Encouraged lang sir yung body camera kahit hindi required. Well, uh, case to case basis yun. Uh, as the as the pero meron naman silang ano. I, I think lahat meron. Uh, lahat at least uh, some hindi naman kailangan lahat ng uh, participant dun sa team eh, may body camera. Basta somebody from from the team should have a body camera. And that's also anyway, kailangan din natin to record to record yung activity nila and and uh, protection also of the personnel in case may magkaroon ng problema may magreklamo halimbawa so case to case so, basis talaga siya so rin yun importante na meron no? okay sir tokhang um, being banned at night uh, tok tokhang hindi sir well, raids that, yung ano lang talaga that's the visitation lang sa, sa PNP yun kung uh, it's up to them but uh, okay din yun. As a former police officer, sir, how would you evaluate well, that? Well, de depending eh. Kasi sometimes eh, when you conduct... De pero um, remember, Tokhang is ano eh. Hindi yes. to raid ah. Yes, hindi nga sir. This raid. is a parang uh, visitation. You would like to invite or mm -hmm. Tokhang hang yun nga eh. Pakiusap. Yes. So you're just uh, inviting the... Kung sino man yung uh, mm -hmm. drug personality dun sa, sa bahay. Parang... Walang, walang masama doon. And uh, daytime ano, uh, implementation of that uh, campaign is uh, very welcome. Okay, sir. Last topic that I wanted, you, uh, wanted to press on you, sir. Um, the regulation of drugs, illegal drugs. Are you all, um, particularly, um, illegal drugs mismo, what, are, what drugs are, should be illegal? Um, right now, there is a talk on medical marijuana. Should it be legalized? What is your stand in, 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 Actually, iniintayin namin yung stand ng DOH dyan eh. <laughs> okay. Tsaka meron tayong ano. We, we, we have a, a, a committee on ano, yung uh, classifications ng substances. Mm, yeah. So, kasama na yan. Oh, so, that's the proper term so, pala sa classification. Af, after, after na yung position ng DOH on that, kasi ini-equate nila sa medical use eh. Yeah, yeah. So, it will be deliberated and... Uh, Depende sa ano magiging recommendation. Ng so, community. magkakaroon sa'yo ng differentiation, classification of what's legal, illegal, uh, yeah, oh. depending on the amount. Oh. Actually, may, may isa pa nga plant na pinag-usapan eh, yung cut. Cut ang tawag nila eh. Anong cut, sir? Hindi <laughs> ba, wag na. Ka, ano, yun ang uh, palayo niya, but it's a long... Uh, it's a long acronym. Uh, it's, a, it's a plant from Africa from uh, ah, Somalia, for example. Ah, okay. Parang ano, 
ang epekto yung parang nangangangang ka yung betel nut. Okay, sir. So parang it's also uh, a substance that needs to be regulated. Hindi oh, na so banned. actually hindi naman endemic sa atin yon, but uh, ang pinag-usapan niya whether are, are we allowing it, uh, are we classifying it already as a, uh, a dangerous drug. So yung, yung mga ganong bagay. Okay, sir. Th these are the ones being uh, discussed at that level. So we're coming up with a list of drugs and how we're going to classify them oh. and how much they they can be allowed the amount may, oh, of the drugs may, may that regulated. can be allowed. Iba yung prohibited at regulated. May yes, mga sir. Based on their yan nga, medical use, mga medicinal. We're coming uh, up with that list, sir. Actually, may, meron ang may existing yeah, yeah. naman tayo niyan. Mm -hmm. eh. But the may new one? Kung may mga madadagdag lang. Okay. Kasi we are also trying to be flexible dahil, uh, as you know, nag-experiment nag, nag din yung kabila eh. Ano kabila, sir? Yung, I mean, yung the other, yung mga syndicates, they, they do, in-experiment nila yung mga lumalabas na ah. ano ngayon, di ba? Mm -hmm. Combination ng ano, combination ng mga uh, substances, ingredients, tiniting, pinapakaramdaman nila kung ano epekto sa tao eh. Yung, yes. Nag-experiment sila. Mm -hmm. So, they're coming up with uh, some uh, new substances, combination of substances. Mm -hmm. So, we're, 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 ano, we're trying to be flexible also. Okay, sir. Um, last na lang, sir. Um, how would you invite Filipinos or award the Filipinos on how they can help the DDB in regulating and uh, forming a drug war policy in ensuring that we can have a Philippines that's drug-free and drug-resistant by 2022? Well, I can, all I can tell them is uh, avoid drugs. <laughs> Don't go into drugs. Mm -hmm. It will... Uh, it's not good for you, it's not good for your family, it's not good for your community. Mm -hmm. So that has been DDB Chairman Catalina Kui talking to us about creating a drug war policy for a Philippines that's drug resistant and drug free by 2022. I'm Rambo Talabong. Thank you for watching.